Okay. To improve accuracy for my death core of Creed, some Scout Sentinels to dash about and laze targets, which reminds me of that classic scene in Battle of Los Angeles. Yeah, painting the foe so that hunter killer missiles and artillery can rain in and demolish the foe. Anywho, Red Makers has a nice Sentinel that goes well with my armoured Sentinels. <laughs> that convertible top amuses me though. Cruising across the field of combat in your sleek war machine. Top down, your hair blowing in the wind, your fellow Krieg giving you envious looks as you whiz past and scamper into the fray. But, you know, then reality of the situation starts to kick in, especially with all that being out there alone and exposed going on. But then again, no one ever dies gloriously for the Emperor by staying in the barracks. After printing, I got sidetracked by some other stuff and didn't throw the holes for the magnet right away. This resulted in the models curing a bit and becoming more brittle, so this happened. Weak. Okay, I reprinted this component and dropped magnets on the base of drill bits to get the right size and then drilled into the sentinel so I could grab a dab of super glue and drop in the magnet, thereby giving me the choice of the missiles, the cannon, the flamers, or the lasers and such. Into the hiking boot box, using a metal ruler so I can snap all the magnetized weapons to it and blast them all in one go. Then lift the ruler up a bit and get the underside and then flip it around to get the other side as well. And I also printed and primed a series of industrial bases. After they are dry, on goes a layer of Abaddon Black across the Sentinels and all of the weapons, then breaking out the Iron Hand steel base and a nice dry brush across absolutely everything, catching all those nice angular corners, the plates, the pipes, the muzzles, the hydraulics and everything else. Now, when painting, of course, the magnets got a coating by accident. An exacto might slice something off and it's a little too pointy to scrape off the paint and a screwdriver is too much of a blunt and inaccurate instrument. The solution? My lock picks. A nice rake is perfect. It's blunt, it's skinny, and the handles are designed for working delicately to tag a pin and pop a stubborn lock. So they scrape off the paint and restore the magnets to full attraction and potency. Right. Grabbing the corn red, I painted a little square on the front of the chassis so I can put my clear transfers on it. The other transfers are printed on white transfer paper and are red backgrounds with a white identification number with a black stroke around it for emphasis. These go on the left side and on the right each vehicle's name, which are Attentator, Dolch and Nail, which is the one I took inspiration for from Sharp. Commandante Teresa, leader of the guerrillas. The Spanish call her the needle. Don't ask why. Once they are printed, let them dry, give them a spray of varnish to lock in the ink, and then cut them out. A brush and a swipe of microset on the model. Dip the transfer in water and then place it near where I wanted it to go. Using the tip of the exacto, as the transfer detaches from the back end, move it into the microset and into position. Then, using the brush, dip in more microset and ease out the air bubbles. The clear transfer paper with the Hulk emblem of my Scout Sentinels. Again, a base of microset, dip the transfer in water, add it adjacent to where it needs to go, and as it detaches from the back end, move it into position with the exacto tip and then ease out the wrinkles and air bubbles with a brush. And then the weapons go back on the ruler and into the boot box and everything gets a blast of varnish from every angle. So here we are, three scout sentinels. Each is a one-man armed and armored walker with sound dampening equipment to assist them in moving stealthily across the battlefield. And while they are capable of creeping through ruins, they can also dash at high speed to outflank advancing forces or acquire firing positions from which they can deploy a wide variety of weapons. Auto cannon, heavy flamers, las cannon, missile launchers, plasma cannon and militarum multi-lasers. And if they enter close quarter combat, the whirring teeth of their chainsaw can carve apart adversaries with ease. But their greatest contribution is to laser hostile target, calling in its coordinates so that artillery barrages in the rear can home in on it and devastate the area with salvos of high explosives for the Emperor. <laughs>